is Sebastian and in this video I want to give some examples of automation that I use in my Vim environment, in my Vim editor. In a previous video I've been talking about how to use Vim in ways how you can do everyday writing and some tips to help you there, mainly snippets. And uh, if you've been watching this channel, you probably know that I use this Vim editor a lot. And today I want to talk about some things, well, how to automate things in the, uh, in the biggest sense. So I've already um, explained in the past this one uh, command that you can use with this colon um, command execution that is called norm or normal. How does this work? This is actually a really helpful command if you know a little bit about the Vim uh, movements and you probably have used this if you followed uh, some Vim tutorials. So for example, if I say I have um, hello a world, goodbye and well, hello again. And then I could, for example, select this with a visual line selection and then say, well, use this execution by typing well, colon and then what it will do, it will well execute something as part of this um, visual range, the selection range. So for example, I can then say, well, I would like to have the normal command or I usually just type norm and then you can um, include or execute any action uh, that you would otherwise do with these, um, well, things that you type. So for example, um, uppercase I for insert uh, in the beginning of the line, some dash and space for just inserting some bullet points here. And this works with a lot of interesting things. And that's a really helpful command. So for example, if you would like to have some exclamation marks, things like that. But this is just a very basic example. What is um, what other things you can do with this actually is to invoke some real scripts. So for example, I could say, well, uh, I would like to have this and then execute something like, well, I would like to um, invoke a command line feature. And this uh, works uh, quite interestingly. So you could say, well, um, I, could like, I would like to have some echo, hello, this, and then just execute this. And the execution could be, for example, your shell. And then you have, well, hello. So the, um, the output of this. Of course, this is my editor. You could also um, then uh, bind this to a shortcut. So for example, this is what I've uh, been doing because I've been using this uh, quite a bit uh, with then for me, that's the leader K and um, enter. And then it will resolve while well, this in a command line, basically, it's the same as if I would just pasted this command into a command line and then executed, which can be really helpful. So this can be helpful for some sort of calculations where I say, okay, calculate one plus, uh, plus two is three, calculate this or some other things that then you could automate. But also you can make this even simpler. You could say, well, I would like to have, let's make this like that. I would like to have these four lines and then sort them. So that is really helpful once you know about the Unix functionalities and well, you can basically take this and then pipe it to your command line and have some scripts or the Unix functionalities being executed and the result will be piped back to your Vim environment. So this is really helpful. You could say, well, sort this for instance. So then I go and sort that, right? Or let's unsort it again. I take this and sort, the, uh, sort it and then say also, well, make the lines unique. This is something that is used quite often. So then, well, this is sorted and then, you know, you have some uniqueness or um, sort it, make it unique and count also, you know, you get the idea. So that also works. And then I have, well, the count of this um, result here, things like that. So you can just take this and then, well, pipe it to some, um, to some uh, script. What is an example for that? I've been blogging about this is, for example, if I use um, use my environment to write a blog post, then I typically have a title for my or for a blog post. And then I would like to capitalize that for English. So I'm not a native speaker. So I've uh, created a script actually that does it for me. And well, it's not super obvious. It's not uppercase everything. It depends if it's um, an article unless at the beginning or some um, other uh, preposition, I think they're called. 
this well that's an example i use it's not fully correct grammatically because that depends you would actually need to have some more context but um, for me that's good enough to use this just as some sort uh, of example that i can also use well basically as an automation and basically what it does it invokes some command line script and returns the result here from this um, standard into uh, back to my vim so that's really helpful other examples are and i've been uh, talking about this a little bit in a video how to create some presentations with vim i think that's really cool if i for example say well i would like to have some ascii art so this works with another uh, command line script that's basically also just some sort of automation that I use uh, in this regard. So that's typically how I create some, you know, presentation um, font, a big one or a first slide or something like this, where I can say, uh, do this in this way or do it in another way where I draw some border around and then, you know, I can have some ASCII art uh, drawing, wh uh, whatever that is. Um, that's basically also some sort of automation. Basically, I select a text here, I send it uh, to my command line or I pipe it through some script and then I get the result back. That's basically what it does, which is really helpful. And you can uh, take this further. You can basically automate anything. Um, so for example, I write a lot in ASCII doc and I could take now the whole file and say, okay, can I just have a quick preview of that? And yes, um, you can as well. Well, if I correct, if I call uh, the correct functionality, uh, for me, that's just um, invoking this in a browser. So that very quickly um, has an ASCII doc view as um, a temp um, HTML file and opens this up. So that's just, you know, kind of cool uh, to write something and then just see um, how this looks like. And I got the result here, for example. Of course, there are many other ways to do that, but just you get the point, have some scripts, have some helpers that you would otherwise just uh, call yourself and then, you know, do it in this way. Um, of course, um, that goes a little bit hand in hand with what I've been showing in a previous video about um, how to use technical writing or how to use writing, especially with um, snippets, because, well, if you say, I would like to automate which date is today or, you know, to cre create a UUID, that's very similar. You could also, there's some overlap there. You could implement the same functionality with these two ways. So it depends a little bit, but just the fact that you can call scripts um, here from your Vim environment is, I think, really cool. And you can just, you know, automate stuff that otherwise, um, well, you would need to do manually. So as for some examples, you can definitely have a look at my dot files. Uh, with these so sort of examples, well, it always depends what you would like to automate, obviously, but just as well some inspiration and especially how to integrate them. You can have a look at my dot vimrc uh, that does this with these leader keys that I use and then invoke some specific uh, functionality here. So that's shown there. And also I have some example scripts also in my dot files in the bin where, well, you can see some ASCII doc view what I'm doing there and things like that. So that's also maybe interesting. And just as an example, well, what you could do. So in general, I find it super cool that this is possible in Vim and actually sort of straightforward. So even if you're not a Vim script expert and I'm definitely uh, none of that myself, um, but just the ability to call some bash scripts and to include that in your command line, um, especially if you know a little bit about your command line usage, this is just really cool. In the same way as also the other way around, if you say you are in your command line environment, and then would like to echo uh, some hello. That's also what I do all the time to pipe this into Vim and then, you know, that's already there. And then you can take it from there as well as the integration, obviously with your uh, system clipboard, you want to have that as well, which is just really helpful. So basically have an environment where all of these steps that you do all the time, like, you know, copy and pasting text around, um, inserting some automation, generating some stuff, calculating some stuff, piping it into a processor and back can just be automated. And this can be done in Vim with really not that much effort, with just a bunch of scripts that you call and then usually trigger with some keystroke. Um, but it helps a lot and it definitely makes you more effective. And then over time, that's also really fun to use because it's just really seamless if you want to create something. I do this a lot with my blog posts. When I write a new blog post, I have well some scripts that just um, act like a template and set this up. And then I would, uh, would like to do things like capitalize this title. Well, you've seen this, so that's really possible and quite interesting to integrate in Vim. 
If you found this helpful, you can check out other videos I have on Vim specifically on this channel or to check out my um, video course that I have on developer productivity, link down below. If you like this video, I'm pretty sure uh, you like uh, that whole course as well. And speaking of likes, I would really appreciate uh, to get a like from you. And as always, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.